What is up guys, Elspin Nurcho here, and so we just got back from seeing Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, of course the new uh, movie set in the Wizarding World or the Harry Potter World, whatever you want to call it. And so this is kind of going to be a tough review because I'll have to say, first off, the movie um, was crazy to me, so I don't know how like to talk about it because it seems like so much was going on that somehow I did not under really understand much, or I felt like I didn't during the movie, so I have no clue really what to um, talk about, so I'll just kind of go into some stuff. Um, but to first we'll do non-spoilers, so is the movie good or not? Um, I'd have to say it's definitely an in-between movie. Like, I don't know how to say beyond that. Because to me, like with the first Fantastic Beast movie, I enjoyed it. But I also, it's not my favorite. Like, I've only seen it twice. But yet I've seen, like, every Harry Potter movie, like, bunches of time. Probably approaching, you know, it seems like, probably exaggerated, but close to 100 times a piece. But, like, this movie, I've only seen, like I said, this other one twice. And that's just, like, all I'm interested in. It's just not that, spe like, spectacular. I don't know how to say it. Like, it's just not that good of a movie in my opinion like I said I don't hate it but I just don't enjoy it that much but like with the last one I got really excited like at the very end once you find out that you know um the guy turned into Johnny Depp which turned out to be Grindelwald I'm like okay this is getting pretty interesting that's so why I was like, super excited to get into um the crimes of Grindelwald movie here and I was expecting you know it to be big and spectacular but it turns out to be just about the same like I enjoyed it but it wasn't that good of a movie like I don't know how many more times I would watch this movie which that's how I judge movies is that if I'm gonna if I want to watch it multiple times that's when I know it's a good movie um but yeah just like it just like had all this build up and like the trailer stuff I was so excited to see this movie but then it just kind of felt like it let me down I don't know what I was expecting because I saw you know everything that was in the trailer I saw in there but I just wasn't as um it just, the story didn't pay off. Um, so, I would have to say, out of a rating, I forget what I usually do, the ratings. I want to say, I think it's one, um, 1 to 10, which with 5 being direct, like, I don't know. And I'd have to definitely say this would probably be more of a 4, which again, on my scale, it's not... Um, like a five is definitely right in the middle of just your average middle line movie. I'd have to say this is a four where it's not, you know, it's a, tending more towards the non-impressive side. And it just kind of let me down um, quite a bit. Unfortunately, like I was like, so, like I said, really excited and happy to see this movie. Now, I will say for my um, brother, on the other hand, he enjoyed it and he enjoyed the first one a lot. He likes them better than the Harry Potter movies. So I think he's crazy because the Harry Potter movies are fantastic in my opinion. But yeah, he enjoyed, he likes these a lot more than the Harry Potter movies. So that's, you know, a different take on it, I guess. But, um, so storyline, it seems like the movie jumped around a lot. Like, I felt like stuff happened and then it would cut to a different scene. We'd come back and time would have progressed, cr progressed with story that we didn't get to see. Like, that's just how I felt. I don't know if it did or not. But I just felt like stuff jumped and we missed parts of, like, story that I felt should have been in there to continue story. It just felt like a jump around mess. Um, but overall, um, the parts of, I want to say with, like, the Grindelwald, kind of I think felt more sane and then um of course uh new but it's like all the side characters all their storylines felt to me like kind of jumping around and jumbled and everything uh for acting um I felt I just feel like we didn't see much in this movie for how because you know it's gonna I don't know the runtime I definitely say it's probably over two hours I don't yeah, I would have to say it's probably over two hours. I can't guarantee that, um, you know, closer to three as the Harry Potter movies are. But I felt like, you know, all that time we didn't get much anywhere. And I, like, I don't know. This movie is just so confusing to me. And I don't know what to say or talk about. Um, but, so, Frags, like, I knew it's, of course, the same exact new, you know, it's the guy. I, he's got, like, a tendency where he's more, like, shy. I think Eddie Redmayne's his um, actor's name, but like as he portrays new, you get like this shyness to him stuff where like he looks, he keeps like looking down and stuff like he doesn't want to look at people and everything. But then all the other characters, you just kind of get, you know, just little tiny bits so you don't get to see them very well. Then we had Johnny Depp as Grindelwald, which of course I think, you know, for what they're going for, portrayed it, you know, pretty good. I'm a Johnny Depp fan. I know that's not popular to say, and he's, you know, kind of went off the deep end, especially lately, but I've been a fan of his movies that for you know ever since I can remember like back to Edward Scissorhands and whatever else could have probably came before that um but so and I've like have this whole like Johnny Depp movie collection type thing so I'm a fan of his so seeing him in these movies I I think is pretty cool and I enjoy that and stuff but um yeah we don't get to see much of all the other characters which 
that just kind of disappointed and let me down. Then we, of course, have a reveal at the end, which I'm not going to say. I'm going to go into a spoiler section. But we get a reveal that, uh, like, just from history of Harry, because I've read all the books and, um, of course, like I said, seen the movies a bunch of times, and I don't remember, like, this ever being mentioned before, and then it just, here it is. And I'm like, I don't, this seems like it's just a late minute addition in. So J.K. Rowling's probably doing a thing where she's, you know, going back and saying, oh, well, this is a thing. And, which, you know, that's fine because she's a creator. She can do that whatever she wants. But it's like, I feel we were told the story already. But now we're adding more pieces into that story we've already been told. It's like, but wait, you didn't mention that before. Um, so, like I said, out of rating, I'd probably go with a 4 out of 10, which, again, is not horrible. Because if you get, like, a 1 or 2, that's a horrible movie. But, um, and 5 is just your average middle-of-the-road movie. Where this, I think, was a little bit probably because of expectations along with that if not it probably would have been just a straight five because it's like a middle of the movie or a movie in the middle where it's you know halfway decent halfway bad i would say um so yeah i would say probably a four out of ten for the rating um i just don't know what else to say uh, that's non-spoiler um which again there's not really much spoiler because we know like how the story goes on because we know where stuff ends up at so it's hard to say you know there's spoilers and stuff but i guess there's that one thing there at the end uh, but i will now go into spoilers so if you don't want to hear anything go and shut this video off right now but i want to thank you for watching if you have watched up to this point and so now we're going to get into spoilers so the biggest part of the movie is the very end that i've been mentioning which reveals that credence which we saw in the first movie who turns out i've I don't remember the movies enough to even remember what they're called. Um, but he, like, was the weird, like, black... He would turn into, like, the Black Cloud thing. Um, and it would cause all sorts of destruction and stuff, which I can't remember what that's called. I'm sure someone will be letting me know. But, um, like I said, I don't... Um, Obscurious, that's what it is. Um, so he turned to that stuff. So this is a progression of seeing what's going on with him. I assume he was some sort of really dark like magic and so Grindelwald was going to be trying to get a hold of him to be able to control him and you know use him to help take over the world and do his whole plans that he's uh, trying to get to uh, as Grindelwald to become the most powerful and you know make wizards better or the top of the food chain I guess you could say in the world of humanity um, but so that is part of the story obviously of him trying to get credence in there now in um, Paris and so they're trying they've moved to move from um, the United States over to Paris now all our characters have and but then you like just get characters thrown in along that story like when you had um and I'm not even gonna remember their names um Queenie and I want to say Jack for some reason but I don't think that's his name but um Danny Fogler's or whatever Fogler I don't know however you say his name like they just show up out of nowhere it's like well how'd they even know where Newt was because they are now at that point in Britain I want to say and they just appear. It's like, wait, how'd you know where he lived and all this stuff? So it's just kind of weird that that happened. And then they're going after the sister, which is like the love interest from the first movie. She's in Paris now and they have to find her somewhere. It's just a whole big jumbled mess. There's a circus where we see Nagini, which is, you know, a lady that turns into the snake. But the like ring, the um, ringmaster, I guess you'd call it. I think that's what they're called. Of the circus says, you know, if she's not going to be able to transform many more times, she's she's just going to get stuck as a snake, and everything. So that's I guess how we lead up to getting her in snake form, and stuff. And um, so she's that's where she meets Credence, and they fall in love and have a whole love connection and everything. Um, but then it's like now where do we jump from there? It's hard to remember everything. Um, stuff moves on we come up with me and meet some other guy that's like a um f uh france aura because that lady can i can't remember what her name tina she was an aura for the ministry of magic um in america but now we've got an or pretty much an aura guy from the france one and he's they meet each other and then he's does all this stuff i don't know and he like traps her and Again, it's all weird and confusing for me. But it turns out it's into a whole backstory because we get Lita Lestrange involved in this. And, of course, Newt's brother are all brought in because there's Lita and Newt's brother are getting married. We jump to Hogwarts. I know I'm a whole big jumbled mess here. But that's what I felt the movie was. We go to They end up going to Hogwarts to confront Dumbledore because they think Dumbledore is doing stuff and putting Newt up to all this when, you know, he truly is but um but he's hiding that he's not so they shackle him so he you know any spell he uses they'll know so he probably can't like operate and stuff to go meet newt and everything but newt he's hired newt to go on after grindelwald because he says he can't act against grindelwald which we find out they made a blood pact 
blood packed with each other when the um, mayor of Air said and so we see that because of that they weren't allowed to fight and attack each other but they um, the Niffler at the end ends up grabbing that off of Grindelwald and bringing it to Noon. Then they Noon gives it back to Dumbledore, and so they're going to try and destroy it. So that way, Dumbledore can fight Grindelwald or stop him, which we is the story we know about, and that takes place, I believe, in 40, 1945. So we've got a little under 20 years until that point, and I think there's at least I swear I read somewhere that there's like three more movies of this. I thought they were just doing three. So one more movie, but I just thought I read somewhere that there's like three, maybe even four more movies of this to happen. I'm like, that's kind of crazy that we're just going to get all these movies um, from Fantastic Beach, which I, I hope if we do, they increase the story, increase the pace, and introduce more stuff. Um, down to a part I did like about the movie is... Um, towards like the very towards the end, I'd say the last I want to say 20 minutes, but it could be more than that, maybe less. Who knows how they separate stuff out? The movie does start to pick up when you get the whole meeting um, of all the parties coming together into the Lestrange uh, like tomb or whatever you call it, and then we have the Grindelwald meeting and stuff. And that from that point, it's you know. I enjoyed the movie from that point. Um, but up until then, we get the meeting, like I said, in the Lestrange tomb where we find out that Lita Lestrange and this aura from France are actually brother and sister. But um, I would assume it's a Lestrange, uh, some like rich Lestrange guy ended up taking um, this guy's mom and they had a baby which was Lita Lestrange. And then they had a little brother with another lady. And that turned out. Um, to what was supposed to be what they say was Credence, but she ended up uh, taking the baby to America to try and like hide it or s I forget what the whole story was, but they took it from the dad and they went to America with their like weird, I want to say she was like a half elf, half human because she looked like human, but she was real small and kind of had a little bit of different look to her. So she looked kind of like house elf as well, but it could have just been a little person that, you know, their proportions are different. Um, but they went, were uh, sailing to America, but it turns out she, she, the Lita ended up switching. Of course, she was a little girl or a young girl at this time. She ended up switching the baby because the baby she had as a brother kept crying and she switched it with some other ladies. And so the ship they're on taking them because this is, you know, in the early 1900s ends up having an issue so they have to escape the boat which when they were telling the story that um, there was an issue on there was something about a boat and stuff I was like oh I wonder if they were on the Titanic well then you see this whole backstory this whole like uh, back vision thing and you see this where you know she switches the baby and stuff and then they're like oh we have to get into lifeboats and stuff well one of the lifeboats goes down and it had that lady in it with the baby and so it's like oh well that's not Creedence because he ended up dying and drowning in the water and that's just a whole chaos and so he's trying to just figure out who his family is like what he is because you know in the first movie he was just an orphan so he's trying to find his whole back score story and who his parents are and all this stuff which is what led him to uh, France where that's why everyone went there we find out Lita ended up kill you know the brother ended up dying and that sort of stuff so Lita's like that's not my brother and stuff so we then go from there into the meeting Grindelwald meeting where we have a bunch of you know people that are the pure bloods and everything that want to join Grindelwald's side and stuff and so um he's you know telling the hit him his whole mission story or mission statement I guess of what he wants to do in the world and then once the oars of Newt's brother and all the other Ministry of Magic people show up um, he tells them that they're there, so everyone needs to escape, but go spread his message and stuff. It's a bunch of them all operate out, except for the people maintaining the story. And then uh, Grindelwald creates the big blue fire, which reminds me a lot of the fire that was mentioned in the books that Hermione was always messing with, that it never actually gave a name to or anything, but it was blue flames, and that he created this you know big blue flame thing around him. And it was shooting flames off and killing a bunch of the other auras and stuff. And then it was like a whole test of people that want to be with him. They would cross through the fire, and if they survived, you know, they'd be on his side but if well, some of them you know died and everything and so we got um the twist of queenie who turning and she walked through the fire and joined uh grindelwald so that was kind of weird and a strange twist that they turned her bad because you know she's a um i want to say aquamans i want to say is what she is where she can like read people's minds and stuff without them you know knowing and everything um and then of course um, Credence went and he joined up with Grindelwald, which then left Nagini separated. And who else did we have? Oh, and then we had Lita, who was going to go with Grindelwald. Like, he tried to bring her along, but then she stopped and tried to find him. But she ended up dying instead because he hit her with a spell and stuff. So Lita ended up 
dying, which led to a big fight of him, uh, you know, Grinwald and all the others uh, disapparating out. And then the fire starts spreading, creating these big giant monster beasts. And so at like where this tomb is in the cemetery, um, we get the appearance of Nicholas Flamel, which you see in the trailer and stuff. He made a short appearance earlier in the movie. And so we got them, all the, um, are pretty much all our heroes left. So I have Newt, his brother, Tina, um, of course, uh, Jacob, I think that's his name, Jacob was there, um, and then Nicholas Flamel, and then, uh, Tina, I said Tina, the, um, Lita, what turned out to be Lita's, um, older brother and stuff, all of them were there, and they create the shield, try to contain this thing, and then end up beating it, and that just kind of the end of the story of that whole thing, um, so then we get to the very end of the movie, which goes into some, uh, ta uh, Nuremberg, Nuremberg, uh, castle or something like that, and um, that's where Grindelwald's staying, and we have Credence there, and um, uh, Queenie's there, and she's telling about, you know, she, I'm pretty sure she's reading Credence's mind, saying, you know what, he was wanting stuff, so Grindelwald goes into him, and he says, you know, we're, and he pretty much tells him who he is, which turns out that he's a Dumbledore, he's another brother of Dumbledore, um, which is kind of crazy, because I only knew him to have Aberforth, and then, um, Ariana, his sister, which would be the only siblings that I knew that he had, and so it's weird that they didn't just throw this other person, which turned out to be Credence, and they show because he's been taking care of this little baby bird, and Grindelwald does something, and it turns into a phoenix, and there's a story um, that Dumbledore was telling New Early about phoenixes, how they, um, it, there's a story about the Dumbledore family where phoenixes will come to you in like a time of need or something like that, pretty much like the whole sorting hat thing from the second Harry Potter movie. So that was our big reveal though, that I guess Credence is actually a Dumbledore, and I forget what they said his name was, but I'd never heard of it before. And so you assume that he's going to be involved somehow with this big fight between Dumbledore and Grindelwald. At the end where Grindelwald, or Dumbledore ends up, you know, obtaining the Elder Wand, which Grindelwald has. Um, so, like my brother mentioned, well, what if Credence is going to be the one that stops Grindelwald? And so he gets it, but then Dumbledore sees him, so defeats him, and that's how it comes in possession. But I think it would just be, you know, one-to-one -one Grindelwald to Dumbledore. Um, but so yeah, we have this other brother now thrown in there and he's super strong and powerful and stuff So I don't know what's gonna happen with him And that's just like the part that's like the biggest thing and spoiler or whatever from the movie is like where did this other Dumbledore brother come from and um, Just how is he gonna play a part in the rest of the movies and stuff and um, Then from there I think it was that was the very end or maybe not but it goes back to Hogwarts and um new and all those like people that were there at the end and some other oars and stuff are there they meet Dumbledore and they take the little shackles off Dumbledore that was the whole detecting his spells and stuff and he met with and Newt met with him and um Newt ended up giving him the blood pack that the Niffler stole off Grindelwald and so Dumbledore and he says, do you know how, can we destroy it? And he said, you know, like, we'll try or whatever and stuff. And so I assume they're going to break in that blood pack thing, which then will allow Dumbledore to actually fight with Grindelwald and lead to that whole story where Dumbledore, like I said, ends up defeating Grindelwald and then Grindelwald gets put in jail for the rest of his life until Voldemort, I believe, kills him, um, as it, we see in the seventh book. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the movie. Like, um, I forgot to say though, the part that I really, I don't know if I <laughs> skipped over this cause I started to say, but the part that I really liked about the movie was all the fantastic, or was the beast, like all the creatures and stuff. You know, that's kind of what this movie's named after, but we hardly ever get to see them. But I think those were some of the more interesting points. Like there were, you know, some of funny points cause they had, you know, a little cuteness and stuff, but I just enjoyed seeing the different creatures and how they interacted and how new had to take care of them and stuff. That's just what I liked a lot, but we kind of got away from that, which is, you know, understand because they're going with this whole Grindelwald, Dumbledore storyline. That's more what we're forming into, but it's based off this Fantastic Beast premise and stuff. So that's going to be it for this movie review. And so that's, again, a big hot jumbled mess, which that's what I felt like the movie was, that it went along, but it just jumped around and skipped a bunch of stuff and just threw in all this other stuff that we didn't know before. And that I feel J.K. Rowling just kind of like made up and threw out into this movie. Like, oh, now he's got a brother, you know, that was never mentioned before. Um, but, you know, that's just, I guess, how the movie is. Hopefully they'll start to pick up and get better after seeing maybe some of the criticism of this. Because I have seen some critiques and stuff that about, you know, saying um, pretty similar um, stuff of how I felt. Of course, the scene after, you know, I've already watched it and stuff. I On the way home, I was reading stuff. Um, but that's just, yeah, I feel like it's not 
been amazing. I'm sure some people, like my brother, you know, who absolutely liked it. Like I said, I didn't absolutely hate it, but I just felt it was just a mess. And they needed to clear up the storylines, and I, like I said, I felt they cut little pieces out. Not that those pieces wouldn't have been important, but I just felt like all of a sudden people were together that, you know, were not together a minute ago, and now they're all Sunday were and stuff. But I let me know what your opinion of the movie was. Um, if you agree with me or not, just let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this review, though, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more movie reviews whenever a movie comes out that we want to go see and review. But I thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.